political update here from Taunton. This here is Shoreditch Road. There's a local, another local, or another election. It's quite odd. There's another election coming up for a councillor. last Tory or should I say Conservative Councillor resigned for whatever reason I believe it's because the Tory party the Conservatives are doomed Anyway, this so uh, Taunton <coughs> was a conservative dominated council. They've um, they've done some quite shocking things really. Quite shocking. They were ousted at the last councillor elections by the Liberal Democrats. I've got friends that are Liberal Democrats. They listen, they change immediately. They swooped in and make changes to some of the stupid, slow-moving ideas that the the council, the Tory council had. Lingering. 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 Anyway, so the problem with the Liberal Democrats is... Well, to be quite fair and honest, it, it's probably about the best thing we could have imagined. And this should have been the original... This, the original decision should have been made from a manifesto. There was no leave a manifesto they hadn't prepared one. The Tories hadn't prepared one. You can't vote on something and you don't know what you're getting. Unless it's, your, if you're voting to leave, that is what you're getting. You just leave. No deals. Dragging no deals, it's a fresh start. We're different than we were in back in the 70s, 80s, we're different. Common market days was all well and good. It's a common market, it's like a like a common market. It's just a market. Only we've got something in common. We are uh, an island off of Europe, off of the continent of Europe, the main continent of Europe. And there is just a 20 mile stream that runs between us. 20 miles isn't a lot. I got friends that cycle 50, 60, 70 miles per day. And that's not all day, that's a half a day out, a big, half, long half a day out. Six hours. So, I mean, they could nip over if there was a causeway or the tunnel was open up to, or the channel was open up to cyclists and pedestrians. We, 
then we've got the problem of well, you don't there's no migration, immigration ex, excration excigration immigration, exigration well so if they opened up the the channel to South Cyprus. I've got friends that we could go over there, do a bit of shopping. No, none of them smoke because uh, they cycle up, anything up to 60, 70 miles a day, possibly more. Anyway, that's tough going now. That. that was with a tailwind. Very nice. France, I think. Yeah, France. Good day. Bad day. Poof. Anyway. I'm off to the post office while it's still open. To post to something. Keep the little village. Yeah, it's sort of like a village. There's, a, there's a, an area where it cuts off from being this village up into like a up towards the town. So here I am. This. This, I can feel the wind against my face so this is going to be banging. Village post office. Mankfields. A last bastion for locals to communicate. There's no pub. There's a club right up the road, but clubs you need to be members. You need to be acceptable. Politics probably wouldn't go down well. I'm not a member yet. I will be though because I like a drink. And here I am, the post. Okay, there's another thing that's got, it's got, I mean, it's privatised, as soon as it's privatised, it started making money, so why didn't the government employ somebody to run the post office, perhaps the person that, em that was employed to run the post office to profit, why weren't they employed by the government to turn a profit instead of selling it off, and now it's a private, ent it's a private equity that owns post offices, so they, it's just a way of shutting society down, sh shutting communicising down, shutting meeting up with your neighbours on a regular basis, pension day. You know, the old folk, they don't mind having a little amble to the post office because they meet friends, they collect their earnings, thank you for long service, paying the tax, keeping the country running, pension scheme is a scam it's an absolute scam we're encouraged to spend constantly to keep the economy bubbling and there's no the, the pension scheme is left to private e equities and, uh, and corporations People should just think, we're dealing with money. Money is not a natural phenomenon, a natural product, a natural... Well, it's just not natural, it's man-made, it's owned, it's a business. It's a business. Money is a business. Somebody owns that business. Money. Money makes the world go right. Well, this is, oh, this is to me, money makes the world go around, the world go around, the world go around. It was in a film. It was, um... It 
was a Hollywood film, or a, or a, well, we'll say Hollywood. We'll say it was a Hollywood film. It was a, it was a blockbuster. It was a classic. I can't remember the name of the film. Only, it was mainstream. It's banging your face, probably in the cinema when cinemas were all the rage, because nobody had a television. So. That has been, in do I can remember it, and I'm, I would, you know, I didn't see the original. Spend it, spend, spend, spend. Money makes the world go around. Well, if people didn't spend so much, they could retire years earlier. Retire years earlier. If you didn't, you know, uh, just say you bought a new car. All right, people say upgrade, it might cost a couple of grand. If do you make a couple of grand back, or is it just, You know, and this is for people that reach that comfortable level of car, not somebody that's starting off with a clapped out one month MOT left, 50 pound. Gosh, for, uh, I don't know. I can't think, for Fiesta. Not a Mark I, of course, they're worth a lot of money just because they're very rare compared to how many were made. Very rare compared to how many were made in case the wind blocked that out. Because the British steel is a little bit substandard really, everything is rotted away. Any British cars, British Leyland, they just rust away because the steel just not as good as it can be. I mean, look at Volkswagen, German. Their, their, their cars don't rust out as quick. Look at a Mark, Mark 1 Gold. They're still going. They're donkey's years old, decades and decades old. And then you pick up a... Um, a Ford Escort. Well, pick it up in a bag. They're rare, 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 rare things. Only they were sort of classics, really. They were a works of art in design, where everything nowadays is exactly the flipping same shape. What's this here? I won't get any. See, this is a. Uh, that, see at Leon. There's the front of it. That there looks like the Ford to me. It's exactly the same. So there's no character in everything around us. The buildings. I mean, look at these are these buildings here over the road. They've got character. How old they are, I can only guess, really. I would just guess 150, maybe, years. But, you know, they've got imperial bricks, the old massive bricks. They've got narrow joints. They've got a bit of character. It's not overdone. Like It's very standard. They've got, they've made use of details like Arches. You know, it's quite an amazing conception to span an opening with a just with an arch, rather than a lintel or a flipping as the catnets. It's